N N He is the gnome king. Just grow up, they said to me. Just grow up. As if it was that easy. As if I'm gonna sprout like a tree. <clears throat> you ever been in a good mood and no one's in the house and it's like, why am I in a good mood? There's nothing here to stimulate my satisfaction, my happy feelings. But it's coming out of nowhere. A childlike play, right? You just want to do things. No one's in the house, why not build a fort in your living room? Stuff like this. Now, what's that got to do with this video? Integration. Sides of integration. Integration, what is it? It's when you integrate parts of your personality that may have been left behind whilst growing up in modern day life. Told to grow up too quickly? Huh. That often has a negative effect. Why? Because you get rewarded for pretending to play grown up, right? And this only reinforces the satisfactory high of feeling accomplishment, of feeling that you're doing the right thing, which then encourages you to separate more from your younger self, your childish-like self, which is only being defined and refined by the peers and the people around you in the first place. This just creates a larger gap from you and your childlike self. This thought form, this old mindset, your inner child gets buried deep within the resources or the recesses of your subconscious being, right? See why that's a problem. Now integration isn't just to do with shallow integration, no. Okay, shallow integration be that, be the parts of yourself you don't like. Okay, shallow integration, the parts of yourself, those mindsets you used to be in that may have sabotaged your relationships with your friends, family or lovers or whatever it is that you may have done in the past. Let's leave it in the past. Most people say. What's the dangers there? Well, that thought form, that part of you still exists. Under that stressful condition of you wanting to be better, you created this persona, this new personality, but you didn't sort through the old one. So it's still there. Integration is when you integrate all the aspects of your being that got left behind. And whilst in that state of being, you make sense out of the confusion that you was in. And then by doing so, it releases that thought pattern within the old state of mind that caused you to be self-destructive or caused you to be playful and joyful as a kid, right? If you understand what I'm saying, I'm sure you may have had this experience, I've had this so many times, you see a kid sliding down a slide and there's a part of you that instantly wants to do it, right? And then there's the part of you that may think, oh, but what, what would everyone think? <coughs> right? What would everyone think? That part of you stemmed from your younger self observing people around them the adults who say grow up and then you want to do it you want to go on that swing you want to go down that slide but then you stop after a while after being told to grow up so many times you stop whereas normally you'd leap and then you think what about the adults what would they say they want me to be mature that voice that stops you from acting childish is nothing more than residue it's your subconscious mind that has used the people around it to learn how to not be childish because you got a reward the first time around and it wants that reward again, right? So now when you want to go and do it, part of you still thinks you're going to get a reward for being mature. It's not. The people who did that in the first place aren't around you anymore. So you can see how these issues are impacting your childlike state. Now, why would you want to be your childhood self? Right? Why would you want to integrate your shadow selves? The aspects of your split personality, which are still lingering within your subconscious mind, show up in your dreams, right? Why would you want to do that? Well, you'll attain the part of yourself which you lost a long time ago. I don't know about you, but I don't like feeling incomplete. The more consciousness you can gather, the higher your frequency will raise. I talked about this in a video with Kelly Coffee. We talked about it, Kelly in the Raw, over on her channel. Yesterday, I took the video and I posted it on my YouTube channel so you can see that. We talk more in depth about shallow integration. We also touch upon pornography. I talked about a mindset most people are in when they watch pornography, which I didn't touch upon within the other pornography videos within my YouTube channel. Check that out. And we also talk about some dream interpretation and how at some point next month, 
we're gonna host a live, I guess you can say a video event online on YouTube where people can come in, tell us about their stories, about their dreams, and I can interpret it live on YouTube. So we'll see how that goes. But I touch upon integration within that video. We talk about implants and handlers and it's pretty cool. So this is just me telling you guys the difference between integration. It's not just shadow integration. When you think shadow integration, you only think about one side of things, but what if you want to tap into your inner child, right? Your inner child. How can you connect back to that? Well, first off, you need to realize something. You're born perfect. Every aspect of you was all one aspect of you as a kid. So what happened? What did you pick up throughout your life? What did you learn? And what made you believe that it was absolutely necessary to detach from your younger self? Ever see adults that are detached from their younger self, how miserable they are? Do you really want to be like that? But everyone's got the potential to be themselves again. You just need to integrate that part of yourself. So look here, before I close this video down, let's look at some ways to make it happen, right? I invite you guys to go to a park today. And whereas you'd normally say, I can't go on that swing, I'm too old. I might hurt myself. Or I can't do a backflip anymore. That was a long time ago in my past. And you're only like five years older than when you used to do gymnastics. Do that flip. Do it. Do that backflip off the swing set. If you're that nimble. I am. I actually taught someone how to do a backflip. One of my exes. That was incredible. She picked it up so fast. Okay. And you notice something, thinking about that time. When you act like your childhood self, your inner self, that childhood part of you will wake up the childhoodness in other people. Right? I remember this one time I was in an art gallery in Brighton and we were looking at all the pictures of weather storms. I stood there and everyone was so tense, right? They're like this. So tense looking at these photos. And I went, I was literally stood right in between all of them. And I went, lightning, like a child. I did it on purpose because I could feel the disconnect between everyone and their childhood selves. I was doing knickknacks, jumping around the Brighton Pier, right? The beach, taking photos and everything, being myself, feeling happy. I could see all these people just being miserable because they couldn't quite play, get into play. And I watched children play on the structures, on the, what do you call it, modern art, you know, where those parts of metal bent up and they're used as a structure for the site. I'm not sure what the specific word is for it. Art, I guess, street art. Anyway, so the kids were playing and jumping all over this and they were the only ones having fun, whereas all the adults were just lazy. And when I went and I, I had like this childish outburst, because there was no part of me that said I shouldn't have done that, right? The part of me that thought, what if everyone would say, oh, he's too childish and they're gonna judge? Because I didn't believe that. Everyone around me got permission to be themselves and they started laughing, okay? The slightly younger kid than me, actually, slightly, he's about four years younger than me, obviously about 16, maybe a bit higher than that. I'm not quite sure how old he was, I didn't ask. But he was the first one to crack. Okay, he was the first one to laugh, he couldn't help it. His nan next to him started laughing, and then they all started laughing, right? And then there's me, feeling all happy and giddy, because I made everyone be themselves in a moment where they were taught to be something else, taught to be serious about art, right? And I do this all the time, I do it for fun. I like jumping around and acting childish, because childish to me is just me being fun. Why don't you want to be fun? Think about it, let's, let's, let's turn apart childish. What does it mean to be childish? you got energy. You talk to everyone without caring what they're going to think of you, so you make a lot of friends, right? <laughs> Play. You never get bored. Always finding something to do. You always create something out of nothing. Your mind just automatically goes to the things that you could do with your hands, right? If you can pop into that childish mindset, creative place, what could you do? What would your work be like? You create a lot, right? Your creativity will be the source of your income. It will be your life. Creative people have a lot of value nowadays. And it's these people that make a lot. They make a lot. Not just in money, but they make a lot in life. They, they're they rich in life. Bob Marley said, What do you mean by a rich man? Think having money makes you rich? And then he like looked at the cameraman like he wanted to suck him in the mouth. Who says that anymore? Suck him. Suck him in the jaw. That's like a 90s reference. No, that's like 60s. Point is... You become abundantly rich in life, in friends, when you just express yourself. That childhood state. You're never bored. You're always in the moment. 
and it's just great to integrate that part of yourself and if you've lost it and you feel like you want to connect to it again i invite you to go to the park play in the park when you're bored if you get the feeling to play video games then you're like in your 50s play video games if you don't already do that most likely nowadays people who are that old play xbox still yo-yos play with yo-yos learn yo-yos learn tricks and flips and skills like violin or how to play any musical instrument or do anything acrobatics that you wanted to learn or pick up as a child but you had anxiety about doing it learn it in the now and watch as it integrates within your personality nowadays and then you'll start to see all of the confines, all of the issues that stopped you from being yourself, that childhood-like self, were actually irrelevant in the first place. So I'm Ryan JC, it's good to speak to you guys, and I'll speak to you guys pretty soon.